Hi there, just looking back through this year of 2018. It's been a heck of a year. All kinds of stuff have happened. In January, Brian passed his nursing test and is a full-fledged nurse. Got this tall dining table then. And I started becoming sick toward the end of the month and it was cold and I was sick and then February the furnace stopped working and it was very cold and I was sick. In March, uh, I think mom paid for the furnace igniter to be replaced. I started having panic attacks in April. It snowed 21 inches on the 1st of April and that's no fool that was, it really happened. It's the month of the Italian Film Festivals at Washington University and I had a surprise visit from Brian, Scott, and Marley. One night I was sitting in the chair and I heard the door about 10.30 at night and I thought, who's that? You know, this neighborhood's changing. I don't really want to go to the door. I went to the door and I heard giggling and I thought, nobody goes to murder somebody and giggles, do they? <laughs> at least not in real life, only in movies, do they? I don't know. I opened the door and there was Brian and Scott and I just burst out crying and was so glad to see him. They were here for a short time and uh, got to see their friends and got to start helping me figure out what's going to go and what's going to stay. And the lawn mowing season started. It started getting very hot. By May I was helping out with various theater shows as an usher and uh, scenery and everything and it became really really hot and St. Louis gets hot and humid and lawn mowing it was constant at once a week because the grass was just growing in June I started having a bunch of back problems and I got a letter from the county saying that the big tree branch in my backyard and all the weeds and everything had to go or I could be fined and jailed and all that stuff then I started having more panic attacks in July, Mom was being transferred from the bed to her chair to get her hair done. And someone was a little rough and she strained her ribs. Had to go to the hospital. Spent all day there with her and everything and she was sent home. Just there's nothing you can do when you have a sprain. You just have to let it heal. And that's when I bought my cell phone in July. So I've only had like it's not really a smartphone, is it? I don't know. I call it a smartphone. It has all kinds of stuff in it. I can listen to Pandora and I can play Mahjong on it. Hey, it's smart. August. A lot of body pains. Saw John Lovitz at the Helium Comedy Club. September. A lot of fever. Apparently this year I had a lot of infections going on due to my broken teeth and everything. It was just not a good year for that either. And I found some young kid, guy, in his early 20s that he and his friends were able to remove the tree branch and then I had to go to court, had more panic attacks. The end of the month saw Eddie Izzard and he was basically on a book promotion tour so it wasn't a comedy thing. I was kind of disappointed. October, Rick fell and an x-ray D discovered not only he had fractured ribs but he also had cancer on his bones that stemmed from colon. I was entering into a TMS transdermal transdermal something stimulation magnetic that's what it was and uh, I had to drop out of that and then Rick was in the hospital and through November and then I had to go be with mom at night and quit that study and everything and then it was pretty much really hard on me and then December Rick died and I had to do all the legwork all the running around and have to deal with mom and everything and anything that wasn't done perfectly or how someone else thought it should be done they came to me and bitched at me neighbors and everything you know and I just like I shouldn't feel bad. I did what I could. David was up from Georgia and uh, we decided to put mom at Delmar Gardens Nursing Center. 
he said if she gets stronger, he can, she can go down and live down in Georgia with him. Because eventually I was going to go out to California. Brian said he'd try to help me find a place out there. So that was this year. Now today, this is the last day of the year. Got a call this morning from the nursing home saying that mom looked like she was taking her last breaths. Which I already made a real quick vlog this morning about. And uh, I went up there. I was worried. I thought, well, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen someday. Whether it's before me or after me. So I went up there and she was fine. She's laying in the bed. She wanted to drink a cold water. When she says cold water, she means mostly ice and a little bit of water. And she has full upper and lower dentures, and the upper dentures are slipping out all the time. They need to be realigned. But she, even when she had the ability to go to a dentist, she wouldn't go. So, getting this straw in there before that top plate fell down <laughs> was hard. Spent four hours feeding her ice water today. What had happened is this morning two aides were getting her out of bed to put her in this reclining wheelchair. I thought that she'd like to be out with people. Well I think they took her oxygen off. She's on constant, uh, constant oxygen because she has only 33 percent lung capacity from em emphysema from a whole life of smoking. So if you smoke please stop now is no way to end your life, believe me. Anyway, she got all purple looking or whatever and and they panicked and called David first, then they called me. But then apparently they got her back in the bed and they got the oxygen back on and they cranked it up to maximum. Well not only that, but those those curtain dividers in the room were all over the place and they wrapped around the machine so I took the machine away from the curtains because it was trying to suck the curtain into the machine. Do people have any conscious anything going on upstairs? I don't know. Anyway, that's my year. Next year I have already a doctor appointment and a couple comedy things that I have lined up and tomorrow on New Year's Day I plan to see Mary Poppins because I figure I want to start off the new year on a high note with happy people, little kids, whatever. So that's what I, my plans are. I mean, Mom could uh, act up again. She kept saying, why does it have to happen? Why does it have to end like this? And I said, it doesn't have to end like this. You can do something about it. She didn't get the answers she wanted. So but then I went to call my doctor to see what my results were from my ultrasound uh, on the 21st. And she heard me talk, ask for the doctor. She thought I was talking, going to call her doctor. So she starts wailing and moaning, I'm in pain! Ooh, ew. I said, Mom, I'm calling my doctor. Then she shut up. That's what it's like. Having a narcissist control everything. I don't know what she is doing consciously or not or whatever's going on, but it is very exhausting. It is very exhausting. How am I ending out this year? With apple pie. It's still in the oven. The cat, me, apple pie, and a didgeridoo made from wrapping paper roll. <laughs> Happy New Year! I hope this one's a better, a better one. <laughs> yeah, upward and onward.